This is Roger with Wheel Kinetics in Tucson, Arizona. We're selling this truck as a 2003 GMC Sierra 2500. That's a three-quarter ton. It's a four-door extra cab. SLT, which is leather. It's a 6.6 liter uh, Duramax turbo diesel. And it's four-wheel drive. It has 77,000 miles. We purchased, purchased it directly from an insurance company in California. Uh, got it here and it needed a few things done which are on my little trusty little list here uh, let's see looking through this list what do I see I see let's see it needed five glow plugs an air filter it got a new EGR glow plug module uh, we took it to Watson Chevrolet and reprogrammed the PCM Needed an air filter. Uh, what's the other big stuff? A TCM module. And that would be it. Anyway, so it's got, got several very important things, uh, especially the uh, EGR and the TCM. And they were uh, programmed at Watson Chevrolet. Um, anyway, uh, it's on a clear title. It was a theft recovery. As I said, purchased directly from an insurance company. I'm going to walk you around. It's got a few fairly minor cosmetic issues the interior is beautiful on the car in the truck car truck uh, let's uh, start over here with the tires the tires are Michelin's and I would say that they're the fronts look like they're about 50% tread discoloration there chrome peeling there edge of the bumper. It's a very low mile Duramax so obviously it's going to go forever from here. Especially with the things we did to it. It's got a very clean bill of health. A scratch here. I would just get a tube of touch-up paint on this thing and walk around and it's a silver metallic birch is the color and just fill in a couple scratches and dings and call it a day. I don't think I would go any further than that. Still a pretty good looking truck. The rear tire, rear, rear passenger tire, um, looks like it's probably 80% tread. Here's your tow package. came from the uh, San Francisco area, which is usually a very good thing when you're buying a vehicle. It means that they haven't been off-road because they don't allow many things off-road that area. This is the real ding on the truck right there. Um, if you wanted to take care of that, it's probably a $200 dent at, uh, at a Mako if you wanted to. Like I said, uh, looks to me like at some point somebody has done some paint on this bedside. It's really good paint work, but it looks like it. And then I see this. Yeah, it looks like... Oh, maybe I'm wrong. It looks, uh, it looks good. <laughs> Whoever did it, I'd like them to paint my cars. <laughs> Let's see. Anyway, there'll be uh, before and after pictures. You can see pictures of what it looked like before. Uh, we touched it once it got here uh, to Tucson. And... Uh, that way you'll have an idea of what it looked like. Um, I'm going to start this thing so you can hear it run under the hood. Seventy-seven thousand seven hundred eighty-seven miles. I see we also have two new batteries in it. They're both brand new batteries, and they're AC Deltos. They come from, uh, that's what they recommend for GM. Here's a 
reason these are so much more expensive than uh, Dodge or Ford. One of the reasons is they're quiet. Nice, huh? in the rear. Hold her down there. The rear seat looks fantastic. It's really good. That. Alright. There's your window on the passenger front window. Door locks. There's door locks working. So make sure we're okay here. All right. Let's make sure the seat works. Seat back. Seat forward. Seat down. Up. Let's see. Seat back. There's that. Oh, the seat looks fantastic. Very little wear in the seat. In there. Doesn't even have just a little bit of the peeling die that Chevys are famous for. Usually it's a lot worse than that, but not here. I think it's just a slick some old mile truck. Hasn't gotten there yet. Alright, you got heated seats. There you go. Door locks. There's the door locks working. Driver window. Passenger window. I'm told the driver mirror doesn't work. Well, and maybe it's just user error. Or maybe it's the passenger mirror. That one worked fine. Maybe it's that one. Um, that is not accurate. It works fine. I would say that they didn't have it. I think they probably had it in the middle. This seat has obviously had a tear in it and we have it repaired. I'm going to have our repair guy come in and do a little bit better repair. This is not, not acceptable. It's, it's not going to be an insert. It'll look, it'll still have that fill look, but it'll look a lot better than that. That's not going to work. It's very common in GMs too. That's why I was surprised to not see it on the passenger seat. Um, apparently he never had any passengers in it because they all do this really badly. Looks fine. All right. And I don't want to say what the temperature is today in Tucson, but it's about 87. And it's, uh, what time is it? About uh, 1 o'clock in the afternoon. There's your cruise control. Let's see. Let's put on the radio. There's your controls. So that's See if I can turn the station. Most memorable moments in home. Uh, radio works. The air is blowing ice cold right now. It's fantastic. Show sure that works fine. It does. Perfect. Feels really good because it is warm. Alright, let's see. What else we got in here? T T T T T. There's your cluster. Here we go. It's the toe on and off. You see the light going on? There's that. Let's see. Let me put it into neutral. Put it into four low. Alright. That's definitely four low. <laughs> and reverse. That is granny here. Man, if you can't pull it with that, it's too heavy. There's four high. I should be able to scoot along a little. Yeah, there you go. That's four high. And 
drive in reverse. Perfect. Okay. Let me put it into neutral. Put it in two wheel high. Let's roll. All right. This is on a clear title, so there's no need to get it inspected uh, as a uh, theft recovery. So if you come to Tucson to drive it home, all you're going to need to do is pay a dock fee of $250 and taxes. Taxes are 2% city sales tax here in Tucson, plus whatever your state tax rate is. If you're from Alaska, you add zero. So if you came to here from Alaska, you pay 2% tax, $250 dock fee and drive home. Um, if your state tax rate is 3%, you're going to pay 5% tax and $250 dock, dock fee and drive home. Um, if you pay by wire and ship, all you pay is the agreed upon price and that's it. Um, no tax, no dock fees, nothing. You just deal with registration and taxes in your state if you have to pay them. And that's that. Um, we have a recommended shipper in our ads. I'll try this in the car here. Very quiet. That's the best part about Duramax. Quiet there compared to the other ones. Um, anyway, uh, we have a uh, shipper, his name is Fred at Beacon Shipping Logistics. He brings us all of our vehicles from all over the country. And uh, we highly recommend him. He's about mid-price, um, but he's very good at communicating, which is critical in this thing. Um, if one of these flaky truckers decides the last second to not show up, he's not going to pretend like they're showing up. He'll tell you. Okay? Uh, <laughs> they are an interesting lot, the shipper guys. So... Uh, never ever take the cheapest guy. Don't shop around for price. You shop around for the right person, okay, to help you get it shipped. Um, if you, you know, you had a guy, $900 to Michigan, well, that's impossible. So he gave the guy the deposit, and the truck sat here for three months. And it would have sat here for another eight months had uh, I not called him and said so. Um, it's just not enough. You can't get a, anyone to pick it up and go to Michigan for $900. It's not happening. Um, so the deposit went away and he was unhappy. So please give Fred a call or you know do your homework on whoever you're gonna pick. Um, the cheapest is never the guy to pick. Never, ever, ever pick the cheapest one, okay? Um, let's see, deposits. Please get your deposit in. Once you have a deposit, you have a deal. We'll put your name in a banner over the vehicle at wheelkinetics.com until we have a deposit, it's for sale. Lastly, I say this at the end of every video, um, it's not just this car, I'm not picking this one out. Uh, it's what I do, okay? Uh, basically what I'm telling you is this thing is way out of factory warranty and way out of uh, by year and by mile. Um, the engineers at GM, just like at Ford or Porsche or Audi, uh, don't know what's gonna happen after a certain number of years or a certain number of miles, so that's why they end their warranty there. If they could give it a longer warranty, they'd sell it for a lot more money, you know? But they can't. So they don't know. If they don't know what's going to happen, how in the heck do we know? I've told you what we've done to the truck already. Um, it's mechanically, it's very sound, but it's out of warranty. There's reasons for that, okay? We don't know more than the engineers know. So please, 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 if you're risk averse, do not buy our vehicles, any of them, okay? Uh, used vehicles will have problems. A check engine light could come on a week from now, okay? Uh, Mechanically, this thing feels as tight as a drum, but, you know, you never know, okay? Uh, if you need the warm, fuzzy feeling, that would be a new truck, um, a new leather GM. Holy cow. <laughs> uh, probably somewhere north of $60,000 for, for an extra cab and somewhere close to seventy for a uh, for a crew cab is what you're looking at, okay? Uh, anyway... That's how you get that, that good feeling, that warm, fuzzy feeling that you know nothing could ever happen to you, you're bulletproof. That's how you buy one of those. Now, if you're smart, you'll uh, realize you saved a bunch of money and you may have to put money into it sooner or later and that's that. Um, however, about 8% of our eBay buyers are retarded, okay? <laughs> they don't get it. So please, please get it, okay? If you're one of those eBay people who think they're buying a brand new car, don't buy ours, okay? because it's not brand new there will be a problem eventually all right anyway i'm going to take this thing for pictures thank you for your time